we go. Next match, Vinny Magalhães in the blue kimono all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada. He will face Herbert Santos. This should be a very interesting match. I don't want to say old generation versus new generation, but you know, Vinny is a new generation athlete, but Herbeth is a newer generation. Let's see what happens here. Vinny, the submission master, going after very, very excited, exciting Herbeth Santos from Team Gigo. Here we go, referee starts the action. Herbeth trying to foot sweep there up top. I think Herbeth is definitely going to have the speed in this in this uh, matchup. Beth, as we said before, was on a terror since getting his black belt. He's uh, one and one so far in the Copa Podio today. Lost his first match. Oh, and flying triangle by Herbert Santos. Beautiful job. Good defense. Herbert motioning towards Ooh. the Omoplata. Referee stopping the match, bringing them both back to the center. There's one word that goes with their best Santos, and I think it's action. You know, you're never going to see him stalling. Stop. He always goes for it. He tries very, very, very hard. And it's it's just, you know, it's amazing to have him here at Copa Podio. Win, lose, or draw, he's going to put on an exciting match. And that's one of the most important things, as I've mentioned before, to the promoter, Jefferson Maika. He's done a great job of you know, picking some of the best competitors in the world to come out here and show their all for a professional jiu-jitsu league such as Copa Podio. But he really emphasizes in the rules meeting, guys, just go for it. I'm not going to, it's not all about you winning. It's about you performing. It's about you put, giving your best, giving 100% and going out there and putting on a show for the fans. Exactly. This is a show for the people, a show for the fans. It is uh, definitely entertaining when you see these guys going after it. Looking for the submission the whole time, and you got these short, shorter six-minute matches, so it's non-stop the whole time. And even if Urbeth can't submit you, he's going to try to sweep you. He's going to try to take you down. He's got this crazy back take that he does. He kicks over the back. We saw that about two or three times in the last couple podio. If you go to YouTube, you can check out his highlight videos. He's got an insane passing highlights from, from some amateur tournaments. Definitely a very, very exciting competitor. But Vinny Magalhães... I think he's thinking for a leg lock of some sort. He loves the leg lock, has a lot of experience in professional grappling and jiu-jitsu, ADCC champion. He's competed in every every organization there is. Gi, no gi, ultimate absolute. He actually has a win over Marcus Bouchesha via heel hook in a professional competition a few years back. So he's a high caliber athlete and these are two of the best in the world competing now. As I say that, Vinny motioning for a leg lock, straight knee bar. Ah, Urbeth Slick went to the 50-50, comes defense. on top. Gets the two points for it. I don't know if that I mean, tricky, yeah, tricky position. tough call, right? Yeah. I'm no referee, but I, yeah. That's why I wouldn't referee. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. Yeah. That being said, Urbeth Santos up to nothing. When the game opens up, when there's when there's less of a tie-up, you can see that uh, Vinny's got some great transitions and excellent attacks, especially with the legs, as you were saying. A very impressive win against Boshesha. I didn't even know that. That's awesome. Vinny now up two points here. Match totally even. We got three minutes and 11 seconds left. Urbeth motioning back in that 50-50, trying to come on top of his own. Not too sure how long the referee is going to allow them to stay in this position. Or Beth coming on top. Or Beth now receiving another two points. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. Herbeth Santos up. Four. Now it's four to four. Vinny gets a two points in the dreaded 50-50 position. 
very controversial position. Some of the old school jujitsu people just hate it. But you know, they they were talking about positions like that ten years ago. I remember hearing about you know in, in two thousand, everyone was saying, "Watch out for the half guard." You know, the guys in Brazil are going to half guard sweep you and stall. And then it was X guard. And then it, you know, there's always something new that happens. But it's just the evolution of the sport. I think five years from now. 50-50 will be so advanced that you won't be seeing it as common. And if you do see it, you'll see a lot more action, which we're starting to see now. We're seeing a lot more leg attacks from the 50-50. So not, a lot less people are going for it because they don't really have good leg attacks or defense. Yeah. That being go. said, <laughs> Vinny attacking of a leg lock of his own. Yeah. Minute 38 seconds left. Vinny going for a toe hold. Gives it up. Got an advantage for that attempt. Four to four, Vinny up one advantage for that submission attempt. Or Beth kind of motioning to his uh, corner there saying, tranquilo. <laughs> Minute 17 seconds left. 50-50 battle here. Who gets on top first? Or Beth getting on top, getting two points. Is it? Yeah. Very tricky towards the end of the mat now. Mm. We're about telling his coach Gigo to chill out. <laughs> it's like, man, I got, I got this, I got this. Chill, dog, chill. <laughs> and so far he does. That's, uh, you know, once again, tied uh, up in the 50-50. <laughs> once again, you know, we're, it's, a, it's an honor to call these matches here at Copa Podio. It's an honor to be here in Brazil and Rio de Janeiro to be doing this. And it is a big honor to be calling a guy like Herbert Santos and Vinny Magalhaes, too, the, the best in the world. These are not just people, you know, picked for any political reason or any family relations or anything like that. These are two very, very highly skilled grapplers going after it. That being said, look at that. Vinny rolling out to a knee bar. Herbeth calmly defending. He's got to be careful there. Vinny's got 37 seconds left going for a toe hold. Herbeth, oh... Vinny going, getting her back to his butt. Can he yeah, get the he's submission? He's feeling it. He's feeling it. A little bit of panic on Herbeth's face, but Herbeth was able to escape. Vinny racks up another advantage. Herbeth going for the back. Vinny escaping. Herbeth going for the back once again. Herbeth up six to four. 15 seconds left in the match. Herbeth looking a little bit more cautious in his back takes now. In this, yeah. in this uh, Copa Podio, he's not doing the jump flashy moves he's more more cautious maybe it's just his opponent right now he's knowing it, what kind of a caliber what what uh, kind of danger it is in it for him wow beautiful match Herbeth Santos wins six to four Herbeth will gain another four points for this match advances in the competition Vinny will receive none props to Vinny you know I mean Vinny is doing what Vinny does. He goes for submissions. He always goes for submissions. And that's what people really want to see. And I think with the six-minute format, it really pushes these guys to go for it. You know, six minutes, and you've got a score of four to six. It doesn't do it justice because there was a lot of action in that. And uh, definitely props to Vinny for constantly going for submission. But congratulations, Herbeth Santos with the victory. No doubt. And a lot of people don't know Vinny really did wasn't wasn't preparing in the kimono for this. He just saw the opportunity, he got the opportunity, got the call, and he took it.